Hey there, collectives of Libras, and happy birthday to you, Libras. Another day, another pull on your energy. Uh, shout out to all of the beautiful, amazing Libras of the world. May you get the desires of your heart, especially around this time of your life. Uh, may you fulfill your destiny and your life purpose here, and you'll find emotional contentment. And may there be a tremendous pot of gold at the end of your rainbow, Libra. So Libras, we're going to tap into your energy, uh, pulling the energy oracle cards here. One card to say, to see what energy is surrounding you at this, at this very, very uh, pleasant time. It is a general Libra, so it's not going to resonate for every fabulous Libra out here. So only take the card that fits and discard the rest. All right, Spirit, what's going on with Libras? Show me the energy of Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Okay, so you have sixth chakra archangel Metatron. Underneath the bottom, you got hostilities. You got uh, Metatron and you got hostilities underneath the bottom, followed by attachment. You're trying to attach from something here. Seems like you're trying to remove yourself out of a situation or out of a, a mindset, a toxic situation, perhaps. I'm going to have to read a six chakra archangel Metatron here. I hope this video finds you in high vibrational energy, Libras. Uh, if my energy and this video resonates, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. I really would appreciate it. So it's clarity of thought, personal vision. So, oh, okay, so it's dealing with your third eye here. It says, Archangel Metatron brings brilliant indigo vibrations to your brow chakra or your third eye. See? You see the dot? You see the little dot? So it's like your, your, your intuition. You're opening spiritually, Libras. Good for you here. Uh, which is the center devoted to insight and clear thought. When this card appears upright, Libra, it indicates a much greater clarity in your thought process in an un an expanded perspective towards broader horizons. Some new perceptions are taking hold and the clouds of confusions are clearing. In some ways, this could be a new beginning for you're on your way to developing a deeper insight about what's going on in your life and why. Now, Libra, is the time to focus on your personal vision. What do you want in your life to look like in the years ahead here? Uh, create a clear picture of that and support it with your daily thoughts. The insight you need to create a vibrant life is available to you now. See there? Good for you. So you may have been having inner conflicts about situations, about your understanding, but with this six chakra archangel Metatron, it's tapping into your third eye, which means that you're going to be illuminated. Uh, clarity represents you're not going to be, uh, you know, second guessing yourself. You're not going to be in the dark about what is going on. You're going to understand it now, Libra, because you know, Libra, y'all be, you know, y'all take the, um, the mental approach, you analyze things, you know, you, you're, not, you're not led by your emotions here. So I feel like, you know, things may be pu pulling at you or, or maybe you at this point in your life where you want things to make sense. And it could very well be something that has been uh, pulling at you for a while. Now you're about to get clarity about it. So this is a beautiful energy. Um, third chakra, uh, third uh, eye chakra, third, third eye chakra, uh, sixth chakra. Uh, Archangel Metatron. Call on your Archangel Metatron. So let's see about your card. Let's see. All right, Spirit, what else for Libras? Whatever whatever comes out, it could be about a love relationship. It's usually what it is. We talk about love, Libra. <laughs> We're trying to get you booed up, honey. <laughs> and I'm sure you ain't going to have no problem now that you got this clarity. You know exactly what to do in your life, honey. All right, Spirit, what's going on for Libras? Who is coming towards Libra? What does Libra need to know? What does Libra need to be made aware of in this current time and space? Three of Cups, Queen of Cups. You could be about to, you could be dating someone here. You could be feeling someone or someone could be feeling you. Let's see. Maybe you wasn't sure about somebody, huh? They go to Nine of Cups, but I feel like Spirit is showing you now. So what are you going to do now that you have clarity, Libra? All right, Ace of Pentacles, beautiful, beautiful energy, Libra. Ace of Pentacles, Temperance, Sagittarius energy. 
Ooh, but you do have the five of pentacles. But I feel like something is changing. The ace of wands, the magician card. Wow. Uh-oh. King of wands. Uh-oh. Underneath the bottom. <laughs> there you go again. You have the knight of wands and the queen of cups. Underneath the bottom, you got the six of pentacles and the emperor. So you could be uh, dating a Aries or thinking about Aries, or you're just embodying your divine energy. You're, you're very wise. It seems like you're getting wiser here. So I feel like uh, because you are tapped in spiritually, uh, your third eye is, is opening, then that is bringing more wisdom into your life. So it seems like here... You could, be, uh, you could be looking very, very good and attractive right now. Now, either you are this king of wands or you are this queen of cups, but I think you're the, the, uh, this more fat. So you could be dealing with fire and water here. Or you may have fire in your chart or water in your chart, but you're trying to manifest somebody, honey, with this ace of wands and a magician and the king of wands. Obviously, maybe, um, maybe you wasn't sure about this connection with this five of pentacles maybe you wasn't sure if you wanted to invest in this situation because you do have the excuse me the ace of pentacles as well as the six of pentacles but with the knight of wands maybe you had choices to make with others when they go to two of swords see i feel like you may have been having you may have been uh, conflicted within about a serious connection here you got the ace of pentacles and the ace of wands and with the magician card and clarity, there's nothing standing in your way. There's nothing in your way. It's up to you now. Seems like, seems like you can have what you want, Libra, because you got the magician card here. Ooh. So let's clarify these real quick. Let's see who you have. So you have the Queen of Cups, and you have Queen of Cups, and you have the Magician, Pisces, uh, Scorpio, Cancer. You have the Ace of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. You got Sagittarius with Temperance, the King of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. I feel like you're passionate about somebody, but maybe you wasn't sure. Maybe, maybe you got your eye on somebody, but, but maybe you're not sure. Let's see, because the Emperor is showing up, so you may be dealing with the Divine Empress. You may be dealing with the... This could be... Um, for some of you guys with the emperor, maybe it's your child's father. Maybe, you, you know, you got children with this person or maybe someone is just elevating and growing. And as a as a result, they are growing wiser. Maybe you're getting wiser here now. But like I said, with this magician card, I feel like you got everything in your power to make something happen. And I feel like with this knight of wands, you're going to pursue it. And it could possibly be this queen of cups. I'm just saying it's hers. You got a queen of cups here. And we know this queen of cups is, is loving because look at all the water around her. So, so you may be dealing with somebody who, who love does not run out. Okay, they got a lot of love to give here. And you may be extremely passionate about this person, but you may have not really been investing because it seems like... This is before the, the King of Wands is before this. So I feel like you got somebody here that maybe you wasn't sure about. And I feel like you're getting clarity about it. OK, because I feel like maybe you see they go to Emperor again. See, see, you're standing in your power now. Uh, Libra could be dealing. Like I said, could be a baby mom. Could be you have children with somebody. Let's see. So we got the Ace of Pentacles for Libra. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here for Libra? Spirit, clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Libra's. Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Swords here, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. So I feel like you got your eye on somebody. I do. I feel like you're looking at something, but you're not making a move because it's the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Four of Cups. Maybe somebody ended things with you because you got the Death card or maybe you ended something. Either you have, somebody is guarded. Maybe, maybe you're dealing with somebody and they got you blocked. Maybe you feel like you're missing out on an opportunity or you don't want to miss out on an opportunity or maybe you passed. A, maybe it's because you may wasn't sure about something. You needed clarity. Maybe you turned down offers. I, I feel like. But with this page of swords, I feel like you're checking out somebody here. Now, for some of you guys, it could be somebody that you've already ended things with or they ended it with you. And now somebody may be looking at things differently now from a different perspective. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Swords for Libra. Why is this here? What's going on with this Page of Swords? What are they looking for? Ooh, justice. There you go, Libra. See how powerful you are? You're showing up in your own reading here. Justice. 
So you're, it's, it's almost like, <clears throat> so you have a queen of cups here. So it's almost like maybe you do have someone in your energy, but maybe you're not, you're not, you're not moving on it. Maybe, maybe you're keeping your options open. Maybe you're trying to find the right person here who you feel like is going to be equal. Your match here. Uh, somebody here who believes in fairness here. Look, they go to queen of swords and they go to queen of wands. So you may have, and they go to queen of cups down there. Like I said, some of you may be dealing with an empress. Or maybe you're the emperor, but we just seen the emperor. So if you're the empress, that's your energy, but you could be showing up in the emperor energy. Either way I go, I feel like this is a divine connection here. Maybe you wasn't for sure, so they go to put the magician card again. I feel like you're trying to make something happen. Or either you're trying to make something happen with them or they're trying to make it happen with you. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and Justice for Libras. Why is this here? Checking on somebody, I feel like you got your eye on something, but I feel like you're holding your, you're holding back, or you're trying to stand in your power here, because we did see the emperor. Maybe, maybe you're trying to be courageous and move forward with something here. I feel like you've been doing a lot of soul searching, and I feel like you've been enlightened. They go to five of ones, but they go to hermit card in the reverse. I feel like maybe you wasn't, maybe you wasn't all the way sold on a connection or you wasn't all, all, all way, all the way invested because maybe you wasn't sure. Maybe you had other situations, but you had to choose from. But I feel like, I feel like you're, I feel like either you're, you're wanting this new opportunity or a new opportunity is coming your way. Give me another card for this Ace of Pentacles and the strength could be dealing with the Leo. Another Libra. Why is this here, Spirit? What's this about? Seven of Pentacles here. So you're not making any move. I feel like you're waiting here. I feel like you're not in a hurry, but I feel like you're you're in you're, you're searching, you're looking. You're checking out someone. You could actually have somebody that you're looking at, but you're not making any moves. I wonder why. Or maybe you're trying to stand in your courage. Maybe you want to build. Maybe you're trying to have the courage to invest because you got the Ace of Pentacles here. Let's see. Oof. I feel like there's. I feel like there's an opportunity here for for love, but maybe you didn't want that because you got the Queen of Cups here. That's the only cups I see in here. It's the Queen of Cups. But you got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, and I feel like you got the King of Wands. You may be dealing with somebody here and you both wanted two different things here. Let's see. You got Sagittarius here, which is um, temperance. Now, this is this is a form of patience, divine timing. But it's also representing a healing and a reconciliation, healing things. So it could very well be someone here who you're already involved with, but maybe you wasn't sure about the connection. But you, you may have needed confirmation about it. All right. The temperance for Libras. Why is this card here? Be dealing with the Sagittarius four swords. I feel like you've been thinking, or maybe you maybe you're on a break from somebody, or maybe you've been really, really contemplating and really observing and try, maybe you've been meditating. See, they go to King of Wands again, and they go to Emperor. See, because I feel like you're trying to do the right thing. I feel like you want to do the right thing, or you want to pursue someone. You want to have the nerve and the confidence. To pursue secrets, they go that freaking ace of wands. So I think you've got somebody that you're very, very passionate about, but maybe you haven't took it. See, I feel like either you either either there's a, a sense of fear, or the fear, either way it go, I feel like it's the fear, or you're you're not sure of what you see. So you may be feeling something for someone and you may not be believing what you feel. I feel like this is mental because you got all these swords, you got the six of swords the five of swords. You may feel like it's not it's too good to be true. You may feel like somebody may be playing games with you because I feel like you're guarded here. I feel like you may be overthinking things here. Either you are or they are. But I feel like, because remember, you are this empress. You're the uh, empress, but you could be anybody. So if this emperor is not you then, then this is them. But that means that you guys are divine masculine, divine feminine, because you know Libra is... Um, the high, I mean, the uh, divine feminine, she's the empress. So you got the emperor here. 
So either you're trying to stand up and you're trying to have control over things and you're trying to build the courage. Maybe you guys have taken a break from each other. Maybe you've been doing a lot of uh, soul searching. Maybe you've been staying to yourself, secluding yourself in order to get a clear mind and a clear focus is what I feel like because your third eye is being open here. But you got the five of pentacles here. Why is the five of pentacles here for Libras? Clarify the five of pentacles. King of cups. Uh-oh. Is that you? You got the king and the queen of cups now, Libra. So like I said, somebody, you may have ended things with somebody. Somebody may feel left out here. See, because they go to four of cups and they go to knight of pentacles. Maybe, you, maybe you're taking your time and they go to death card again. But this seemed like a twin flame connection here. This is why I feel like you don't trust it. Because I feel a hesitation here. But you got the king and the queen. And I'm sure if I see the emperor, you're the empress. I'm sure the empress. So somebody feels left out. Now, either you do, because I see a lot of masks. Got, you got the king of wands twice. You got the emperor. So well, Libra, whether you're male or female here, I don't know if you're the male side or the feminine side here. Let's say that if you're the male side, I feel like your third eye is opening about a situation here because if not, that King of Cups wouldn't have showed up. Maybe you've taken a break to gather your thoughts to figure things out here. And um, during this time of a break, maybe you've, maybe, maybe you've been revealed some things spiritually about a person that I feel like there's got the ace of wands twice that perhaps you could have something with. All right, the five of pentacles with the king of cups for Libras. The world. A new opportunity. Cl completions here. Completions. Rewards, they go to high priestess and they go to five of cups. See, somebody's regretting something. So maybe you're not talking. Maybe somebody's not talking to you. Maybe it's a Pisces. I feel like somebody must have ended things with you or you ended things with them and somebody's regretting it. So somebody, I feel like the person here, somebody ended things, but whoever... Whoever feels left out is the one who's full of regret. You got the five of pentacles and the five of cups. And there go that knight of cups. And there go the king of swords. See, we just seen the queen of swords. Maybe you were not available to this person. Maybe you were taking your time offering something or maybe you wasn't sure that that's what you want to hear. And maybe somebody got tired of waiting because you got the seven of pentacles. That's waiting. You got the temperance card. That's waiting. It's almost like you put somebody on hold while you made up your mind to what you wanted to do. And maybe somebody got tired of waiting and moved on. And maybe somebody's regretting it now. So you got the Ace of Wands again. Why is this Ace of Wands here for Libras? <laughs> Three of Cups. <laughs> and there go judgment. I feel like somebody is about to answer this call. I feel like somebody has been putting something off. Now, whether it's you, Libra, or whether it's them, because see, there go the hangman. I feel like, yeah, I feel like whoever this person is, it's almost like two people in love with each other, but ain't neither one of y'all doing nothing about it, okay? It's like both of y'all scared of each other, but, but, there's, but there's a potential of love here. But somebody is second guessing this, but you got the high priestess here. So either you're not listening to somebody's regret, not listening to their intuition or somebody is not talking to somebody. Because like I say, you've seen the death card. You got temperance. It's a lot. It's a lot of slow energy. And you got the world card there, too. So the ace of wands, three of cups, judgment, Taurus energy, hangman. What else for Libras? And they go to nine of pentacles I see underneath the bottom. So see, maybe maybe you were torn between giving up your independence to being in a relationship with somebody. Maybe you were listening to your ego. Maybe you were self-centered here. Okay, because you got the king of wands twice. And I see that ace of wands. And, I, and the only reason why I'm saying this because I see the knight of wands here, okay? <laughs> we know how the knight of wands is. And I just seen the nine of, nine of pentacles. So you could have been unreachable here. And we just saw the King of Swords in reverse. You could have been unreachable, detached emotionally. But now I feel like your heart space is opening because I feel like you're in your feelings or they are because either way, take a pick. You got the King and the Queen of Cups. OK, so obviously, however you feel about somebody, looks like they may feel the same way because you got to 
You got the king and the queen. One more card for this ace of wands for Libras. Seven of Wands, but somebody here either is defensive. Maybe your person is guarded against you. I feel like you want to try to work things out, but they're guarded. Or they want to work things out with you, and you are guarded, okay? So now you got the Magician card. Spirit, why is the Magician here for Libras? What if I the Magician for Libra? You got the Magician here, so you can, you can manifest whatever you want. It's up to you. You got the power. And you got, if your third eye is being opened up too, so what's stopping you? All right, the magician for Libra. Nine of Pentacles. Mm. So what are you, so see, like I feel like, I feel like you're trying to manifest this fear. You're trying to get out of this. I feel like you're worried about being in a relationship. See, I feel like you're trying to get out of this. They go to six of swords and the five of swords here. Maybe somebody's manifesting you. you. I know you're not manifesting. Maybe you're manifesting more money here. So maybe you put that before your relationship here. All right. <laughs> the magician and the nine of pentacles for Libras. Somebody may have been manifesting their, their finances. Could be you. Page of Wands. Maybe you want to communicate. They go to Two of Pentacles here. See, I feel like part of you wants it and part of you don't. Maybe you just want to be free and date other people. Or maybe you are fearful that you're going to get hurt here. I think that this is what it is. I think you like in between a rock and a hard place, but I feel like spirit is giving you clarity about what you're seeking because I feel like you're confused. I feel like part of you wants to try, but the other part is afraid that if you open up your heart, which it look like you already have, that you're going to get hurt. See, because they go to ten of swords and they go to five of pentacles. See, because for some of y'all, if you're already in separation with someone, this is the reason why you're afraid to open up. You may feel like, you may feel like this person, you may be dealing with abandonment issues. You may feel like this person is, is, is not going to stick around here. Or maybe you may feel like you're going to get restless with this Knight of Wands. So let's see. All right, the King of Wands for Libra. Why is the King of Wands here for Libra? King of Wands, see? King of Swords, I told you. See, it seems like that you may have been the passion and maybe you were taking your time, you know? It's almost like you felt like you had no need to rush into anything, you know? Maybe you were listening to your ego here. You know, is what I feel like. You got the King of Wands twice. But something is changing because you got the Wheel of Fortune here. I feel like you're afraid of change. And I feel like it scares you. You, you, may, you, you may be finding yourself in uh, meeting someone that you feel a strong connection with as the king and the queen of cups here. And I feel like this change is scaring you because I feel like you're used to doing your own thing. Here's what it seems like. You may not be used to opening up your heart as this king of swords. And maybe you're listening to this king of wands or maybe this is what you used to do. But you remember your overall energy is six chakra Archangel Metatron, it deals with opening up your third eye where you're connected with source and you see things on a spiritual perspective instead of through your carnal mind, your ego, and instead of always trying to make a head over heart decision, I feel like spirit is trying to show you a different way. OK, because I feel like you must have somebody here who is really a potential of really being somebody of significance to you. But you may miss it out because you're looking at it differently. But I feel like that's before you're going to get this. You're going to get this spiritual awakening and you're going to gain clarity and you're going to know without a shadow of a doubt what you should do about about this relationship. All right. The King of Wands. Why's the King of Wands here for Libras? I told you, didn't I tell you? I knew it. I knew it had to be something like that. See, now there you go. And like I say, whichever one you are, I know that Empress is your energy. But like I say, if that Empress showing up, I already know. Now, see, this is why you need clarity, because this is a strong connection. You got the King and the Queen of Cups, and now you got the Emperor and the Empress here. See, so this is why you need to find out. It's almost like. I feel like somebody came into your life and they changed everything about you because you got the king of wands, clarifying the king of wands, you got the king of swords, the will of fortune. See, somebody's in your life destiny. You didn't meet this person. I feel like you feel like, see, you stressed out, see? 
You're overthinking things about this person. But you're going to gain clarity. There it is. See there? You're going you're gonna to find out. I feel like spirit is showing you that it's safe to love this person. See? Because I feel like you've been afraid to commit. See? You were running away from this commitment because you were afraid. See? They go to Hierophant and the Seven of Swords. Now you got the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Why is the Knight of Wands here for Libras? Knight of Wands is the moon card. Fear. <laughs> Either you fear, either you're afraid of this connection here, but I feel like you don't want to be this way. See, six of swords, you could be trying to bail out. See, because you're timid. Five of pentacles, you're used to, you're used to mess. See, and there go the nine of wands here. I feel like you're afraid. I feel like you don't want to take, I feel like it seems like somebody has came into your life that has disrupted your whole way of thinking and viewing things. Somebody is coming to your life to challenge you. And I feel like it's uncomfortable, yet there's something about this person that you do like or you, I, f I feel like you're finding yourself possibly catching feelings for somebody here. And this is probably something you did not want to do. But this is a gift with the uh, will of fortune. This is all a part of your destiny. This is all a part of karma. Uh, you did not meet this person by accident. It was already written in the stars that you two meet together. So you may have been in this Knight of Wands energy for fear of connection, for fear of commitment, because you got the moon card here. Because deep down inside, you may still be, uh, you know, kind of timid when it comes to relationships here. So may maybe you've been doing good alone as a single person here. And now here come this person finna, you know, just rock your world. And ain't it something? You got the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, the Emperor, and the Empress, honey. Pick, 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 pick whichever one they both here. All right, the Queen of Cups for Libra. Why is the Queen of Cups here for Libras? Queen of Cups, see, Seven of Swords. You wasn't being honest with this person here. What's up with this Queen of Cups? Why is this Queen of Cups here? I feel like this scared you. I feel like somebody scared you. Ooh. See, you was running away from that or you wasn't being honest with yourself or you didn't want to see the truth. But I feel like you, you're going to have a future with this person here. Three of ones, ten of ones. See, I feel like it scares you that somebody you may be dealing with somebody here. that I don't care how much you try to ignore it. I feel like the, the attraction or the chemistry is undeniable because this, like I said, this is a twin flame connection with the four of ones here. And there go temperance, divine timing. I feel like this co could possibly be somebody that you've always wanted, waited for all of your life. And then when they show up in your life, you're not ready for it. It's what I'm getting. So this is why the universe is dealing with you with your third eye chakra so that you can get the confirmation and the clarity you need. <coughs> Excuse me in order to move forward with this connection, because this is a strong connection. Pardon me. King and the Queen of Cups, which is a twin flame. You have the look, you got the Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. <coughs> <coughs> Oof. Now, even if this is you, Libra, you still got the emperor here, so it ain't no backing out. They all over you. Y'all all over each other. So what spirit is telling you, you might as well go on and just go on and allow yourself to be happy because whoever this person is in your life, they're not in your life to hurt you. They're in your life to love you because you got the queen and the king of cups. Vice versa. However, like I say, <laughs> there's no denying because you got both of them. But just know that this ain't somebody here who just... Just so happen to pop into your life as the with the will of fortune, they're supposed to be with you, but you have to know that. That's why the universe is giving you clarity and truth so that you can go on and love, allow someone to love you and be happy, Libra. Now, this is your reading. I hope it resonates. If so, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.